Lev Vygotsky was born in 1896 in the Russian Empire to a middle-class family. There he went to public school and won a Jewish lottery and was able to go to Moscow State University. There he studied developmental psychology, child development, and education. He is most well known for his social development theory, which consists of four main steps. We learn through social interaction. We learn language by engaging in meaningful conversation, scaffolding, and the zone of proximal development, or ZPD. The zone of proximal development is the difference between what a learner can do without help and what he or she can do with help. Can you count those for me real quick? Yes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to count together, okay? Okay. Give me a finger. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now, can you count them for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Thank you. Good job. Thanks, buddy. In this exercise, Leighton begins with counting them much too quickly and miscounting them. After I counted each Lego piece individually with him, he then slowed down and counted each and every one, and ending with the correct amount. He was able to utilize information he already knew, but was challenged with the larger amount. But with gentle direction, he was able to correctly count them all and retain the new information. When guided, he was in the zone of proximal development. Unfortunately, Vygotsky died at the age of 37, so he was unable to finish all of his work. Although he did not live long, his theories have shaped the way modern schools teach their students. But there is one thing, that everyone's zone of proximal development is different, and each individual requires different levels of assistance to effectively learn.